Hello guys, welcome back to another video. It's me, Turkish Mapping here. So today we're going to look at a few uh, scenario where Mexico makes an empire. This video is not meant to be political at all, and it's not meant to insult anyone. Also, Mexico will be buffed to make it more fair for Mexico, and all alliance, all alliances like NATO. The UN, uh, CSTO, all of them will be disbanded as to like, as if let's say Mexico declares on the US, then we wouldn't want this happening, would be that, that would make everything unfair. So that is why I have to disband all alliances. So now let's get into the video. The first country that Mexico declares its war against is Guatemala and Belize. <clears throat> uh, the Mexican troops push in from the north and of, of Guatemala and they push in to, and capture the capital of Belize. Why is my brightness so low? Uh, next Belize surrenders, being very small, of course they have to, and uh, when Mexico starts making gains in the um, east, no, that's the west, and makes a spearhead towards the Guatemala's capital. Fun fact, it's called Guatemala, the more you know. Basically, soon the front looks like this, and this is when Guatemala uh, sues for peace. Now, let's take a look at the peace treaty here, shall we? So, the peace treaty here is Mexico annexes Guatemala and Belize. Yes. Yeah, this is actually what happens. What else would Mexico do? Make them a puppet? No, that would be nonsensical. Now Mexico looks slightly bigger. And it looks slightly weirder on a map. Next, Mexico funds some rebels in Honduras and El Salvador. Which, of course... Um, Having rebels in your country, you're obviously going to blame each other, of course. So, El Salvador blames Honduras, and Honduras blames El Salvador. Soon, these rebels get their capitals. Honduras' capital, don't even make me say it. But I know how to pronounce it correctly. Maybe. Anyways, uh, soon these governments have to surrender, and then these rebels, they basically create their own nation, and then they join Mexico. Yes. Anyways, the government should have done a check on their IDs to see where they were from. Now, Mexico looks like this, very nice. Now they have gained El Salvador here, and uh, Honduras with, with its very difficult capital to say its name of, Tegucigalpa, something like that. Next, these remaining Central American nations they realize that Mexico is going to attack them soon. Why do I see a black dot in there? They realize that Mexico is going to attack them soon. So what do they do? They decide to form a coalition against Mexico. Basically, these nations... Why can't I color Costa Rica properly? These nations of... The nations of Panama, 
Costa Rica and Nicaragua. Very nice to save very fast. All form the alliance known as the Central Pact, which Colombia also joins. If Mexico ever defeats Panama, Costa Rica, and Nicaragua, then Coast then Colombia will be a blockade for Mexico so that they can't enter South America. Now, what does Mexico do now? They declare on Cuba, of course. Now, this is very bad for Cuba because it's Cuba. The, the Mexicans encircle the capital, Havana, and they push in deep. But because it's the jungle, it's hard to make gains in the rest of the lands. And soon, the next thing you know, rebels pop up. Be rebels being rebels, they also attack the Mexican forces. And this is when Mexico decides that it has had enough. It captures Havana. The Cuban government surrenders to Mexico. When Mexico has to keep fighting the rebels, which a large majority of these rebels soon surrender, just like this, and the rest of the rebels, Mexico uh, kicks out of the island, and these rebels, they flee to Haiti, and they get to... The Dominican Republic and from the Dominican Republic they go to Puerto Rico so that they are protected by the US but the US doesn't let them in because they're Cubans or something like that I don't think they actually do that I think that was in the 60s anyways uh, Cuba is fully annexed once again very nice. Now the United States sees this as a very as a very bad and very big threat to the nations in North America and South America. But these guys already exist. Uh, the president of USA, Joe Biden, sees this as a very big threat towards the USA and Canada, of course. So, USA has to bulk up their military and they make and they increase their passport checking and their airport security as to not let in Mexican spies. I don't think they would want to know what's going on the U in the US anyways. But next thing they know, Me Mexico declares on Haiti, Jamaica, and the Dominican Republic. And this is the point where these Central American nations re decide that they've had enough, so they declare war on Mexico. The entire alliance joins to fight against Mexico, but let's see how this will happen. So, Mexico takes Jamaica, not good. Mexico takes some lands, oh, 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 there goes Haiti, bye-bye. Dominican Republic is a bit harder to fight against, as they are the complete opposite of Haiti. This side is poor, this side is rich the more you know now the Central American nations they push up through the Honduras jungle I don't know if they have jungles there and they make a spearhead towards Tegucigalpa I really like saying that real fast Spanish words are nice when you say it fast, especially if they're long. 
Anyways, they make a spear uh, spearhead towards Tegucigalpa, just like that, in five days. And the Mexican uh, army has to ship some troops from Dominican Republic to Honduras to fight against the group of allied nations of the Central Americans. I don't know why I added S in the end of American. Central American. Anyways, the Mexicans, they have to fight against the Central Americans because they have to ship some troops from the Dominican Republic. Well, they have to ship troops from the Dominican Republic. Do you know what that means? Dominican Republic can increase its attack and now, the more you know, poof, a trench war has begun. Those are your trenches. This is the blue team trench. That is the red team trench. Anyways, uh, trenches, they're not nice to fight against. You can ask France and Germany about that. Anyways, uh... The Mexicans have to sacrifice Dominican Republic for the Central American nations, which it's fine though, uh, but it, it's still not good for the Dominican Republic. The people fighting the Dominican Republic, I should say. Mexico is in a really bad situation right now so what does it do it enlists some help from venezuela i have to color in venezuela because i have to anyways it enlists some help from venezuela next thing ecuador joins even though it's not in the pact uh, Mex Brazil also really gets mad at this because they don't like Venezuela and they don't like what Venezuela and Mexico are doing. So they enlist Guatemala to help. That's not Guatemala, that's Guyana. Uh, and so they also enlist Suriname. Very nice. Anyways, Venezuela literally pushes the people from Guyana so far back that they get to their border disputes border I made that up but it's there's Venezuela has a border dispute against Guyana that looks like this anyways Georgetown is captured thus the fall of Guyana 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 is gone. Well, Guyana is gone, but the government is still there. Uh, so they keep on fighting. Oh, oh, oh now they're they're act they're really gone now. They push in Suriname. Oh, Suriname surrender. Okay, let's go. What just happened? Anyways, um, Colombia. Expected this, they push in to Venezuela, and they get to this bay here. I don't know what it's called. Please tell me in the comments. They get to that bay, and they eventually... The Venezuelans also push in, but they push in from the Amazon side. The Amazon side. Yes, the Amazon side. You know what? is in the Amazon Jaguars Ty no I was I almost said tigers those are in, in those are in India's jungles anyways uh, the Mexicans actually managed to push out the uh, Central Americans the Central American pact especially after Venezuela joined to assist them 
Soon, uh, Dominican Republic has never fought a trench war in their life or a war. Well, they have, but it, it might have been an independence war. Anyway, so they are really bad at it. And their trench is overrun. So, not good. Now, Dominican Republic surrender to Mexico. This is a huge, huge accomplishment for Mexico, meaning that they can ship almost all their troops from Dominican Republic to Central America to fight in. They also recruit some soldiers from here, here, no, not there, here, 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 and here, and blah, blah, blah. Total, they get plus Total, they get plus 10 million troops. Very nice. Now, they can push in to uh, Nicaragua as hard as they want. Adios to your capital, sir. You're gone. Rest in peace. Soon, Costa Rica is soon to fall. But, uh, Colombia has to ship, has to move some troops from the Venezuelan front to fight against Mexico, which they do. Also, there's a lake here, but forget it exists, because it's not on the map. Uh, I actually don't know why it's not on the map. So, anyways, next up, uh, Venezuela can push back some Colombians so that they can push back some Colombians and gain free land. Yay. Yay, super yay. They gain some land in Amazon as well. Now they can start getting to Colombia's arid areas. But Colombia's capital is like here. So Colombia is now under threat of getting its capital destroyed. So the Colombians, they s try and send most of their troops here to fight against the Venezuelans and actually succeed. Very nice. Uh, the Venezuelans here, they don't really do stuff much. So they just conquer. They just run towards enemy people and if they win, they win. If they lose, they die. Anyways, now this looks like it's Venezuela and Mexico are winning. But guess what happens? Something in Europe happens. Something unexpected. France has something that, like, I have to include this so that it works. Also, so it's free entertainment. Yay. Uh, riots. Gone. Gone. Uh, forced to release French Guyana. What does French Guyana do? Hmm. Venezuela having all its troops in Colombia. They're like, oh no, we didn't know French Guyana would come soon. I mean, basically, why French Guyana is capturing, well, liberating Suriname and Guyana so fast is because they actually rebel. They rebel again. How, what is the correct pronunciation for rebel? Or rebel? Which one is the noun? Which one is the verb? I have no idea. Anyways, um, they kick out the Venezuelans, almost, and they push in to, through Venezuela, almost, but not exactly almost, uh, what Venezuela has to do now is move these guys from here to here, so they have to do that, what happens? This not good. Good for Colombia, bad for Venezuela. 
but also good for Venezuela as well because they can push the f French Guiana and Guyana and Suriname. One of these speaks Dutch, one of these speak French, one of these speak English. I wonder what that sounds like. Truly, can't be anything wrong, right? Well, we were one reference there. No, I said the wrong number. It was meant to be the one, the after one. Anyways, uh, this is what it looks like right now. Bad for Venezuela, good for Colombia. They also push back Venezuela in here. Capture this nice looking panhandle. It's probably the only panhandle that is that actually looks good on a world map. Can't say the same thing for Oklahoma there. Anyways, uh, Colombia uh, doesn't need to focus as much of its troops in Venezuela now. So they can push back some Mexicans heavy time. Great. Any time now, something should something should happen. Wrong, wrong color. Something should happen to Mexico. Any time now. No. Okay. Anyways, what happens now? More fighting and more stuff. Oh, what's that? Rebels. What's that? Rebels. What's that? Even more rebels. Mex Venezuela is known for being, for having lots of rebels. Also, new colors have been added. These are are them right here at the bottom anyways rebels 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 everywhere not good because they have to fight them so what happened boom what happened boom anyways uh what else happened boom now Venezuela is being screwed over right now. I have no idea if that was swearing or not. Probably not. I hope not. Susan's gonna be angry today. Wait, didn't she resign? Anyways, uh, next thing you know, Venezuela is in big trouble right now. I think that's their I think that's Guyana's revenge for mocking them. Anyways, multiple of Venezuela's rebel groups they gain land, but they also do the smart thing of not attacking each other. Bad for Venezuela because they lose their capital soon. What what does that mean? They lose their military. What does that mean? They are forced to surrender. I'm going to have to take a screenshot of this so I can remember these borders that I drew for the rebels. I think I spoiled the peace treaty. Anyways, Venezuela surrenders to the blue team. Surre Venezuela surrenders to Colombia and Guyana. Now, bad for Mexico, good for Brazil, good for Colombia, good for Guyana, good for anyone else that is in Mexico or Venezuela. Also, good for those rebel groups there. Anyways, next thing we know, Mexico is being pushed really hard, really far, really I have hiccups. I don't know why. Mexico is being pushed back really hard, really fast. How much population does Mexico have? 
more than 9 million because they have 9 million people in Mexico City. Anyways, they recruit, instead of 10 million troops this time, they recruit like 100 million troops. I don't even think they have a 100 million population. They recruit 50 million troops. Anyways, uh, they push in harder than before. These are also, they also recruit veterans from something. I don't know what veterans they would be. Maybe Civil War veterans? But that was from 19, all the way from 1916. Anyways, uh, well, veterans basically. Uh, anyways, they push in, they push in, they push in Panama. They push in, wait, no, that's not Panama. They push in Nicaragua and Costa Rica. Now, before they, while, while Mexico is pushing back as far and as hard as they can, is to gain as much land as they can without losing and also without these fresh Colombian troops arriving from Venezuela. So they soon get to the canal and it stops. Anyways, it's then Mexico signs a peace treaty with Colombia and I need to take a screenshot of this. Done. Great. Now Mexico signs a peace treaty with Colombia and Colombia sign and Guyana and Suriname and French Guyana sign a peace treaty with Venezuela and the leaders of all these other rebel groups in Venezuela. This next part I'll cut out of the video. Very nice. Okay, uh, let's cut forward to that. Okay, so here's the tree here. Um, so you can see Mexico annexes Nicaragua, Panama, Costa Rica, but they annex Panama only until the canal, and then the rest they make it a puppet state. They also annex Jamaica, uh, per I almost said Puerto Rico, uh, Haiti, and Dominican Republic. Next, Venezuela is non-existent, and why you're wondering, Brazil is bigger because they They also managed to sneak into the negotiations and get some land for themselves. Colombia gains, basically, basically Colombia gains like almost. Colombia gains as much land as half of Colombia. Anyways, uh, Guyana gets this land, yay, and the rebels are free, yay. Anyways, um, French Guyana is independent, yay. Anyways, now, what will Mexico do now? Are they satisfied? Will they keep on fighting? Or will they just be crazy enough to declare on the United States? Right after all this chaos, yes, they are, but not right after all this chaos, um, only five years after. Anyways, by this time, Mexico has finished its, all of its preparations. Alaska is quite warm to color, so I'll color that later. By now, Mexico has finished all of its requirements, all its necessary training, all, and it has recruited all of its men in the military to fight for the war that's going to happen in the USA right now. Anyways, uh, time to color Alaska and Hawaii and Canada. See you next time. Well, not next time, as in next video, but see you in a few moments. For me, it's a few moments. For you, it's just a second. Okay, I colored USA. Now, see you in another second to color Canada. Well, for me, it's a few moments, as stated before. Okay, see you in another few moments when I have to color this mess 
You know what? I have an idea. Sink it into the ocean. Okay, that last few seconds were definitely not inspired by Addis Pro, even though they definitely were inspired by Addis Pro. Anyways, uh, see you in the next video where I cause global warming and sink the entire world. Just kidding, but okay, let's begin with this humongous, 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 humongous times five war. Not that humongous, though. The man is humongous. Anyways, oh, that was no context. Anyways, uh, let's fight the USA. Anyways, let's also include navies. Yay, missed that, didn't you? Now, I don't want to show trenches, of course. So, I'm gonna show the navy in this color. The trench color. Or puppet state color. Uh, because it's puppet state color, I'll just get another color. That's similar to this one. But darker. See you in a few moments when I color naval superiority. Okay, I'm back. I didn't care to put this part up here. Because no one's going to be up there anyways. Except Wallerson's. Anyways, um, I didn't color these guys either. Because why would you put naval boats in an extremely shallow place? Anyways. Deep breath. Let us begin. This is going to take five years to explain Anyways, Mexican troops are first alerted. Al Mexican troops are first spotted on the U.S. border in a formation like this, and the artillery in a formation like this, bombing the Rio Grande River, which is this river, hence the border there. Um. So the U.S. troops, they spot the Mexicans, they make a line of artillery, men, and guns. And your Florida grandma, when you don't, I don't know, I was thinking of a joke, but I couldn't think of a joke. Anyways, uh. These are the R2. These are the men lines. I made that up. Is that a, anyway? Uh, well, um, uh, blah blah blah. This is basically where the men are lines. Now we draw where the uh, where the sailors or this where the navy is lines. Basically there, there, right there, right, and there. Now they also have to protect Puerto Rico. Like, really, they really have to protect Puerto Rico. Really hard, or else, or else, or else something really bad. Anyways background noise or something anyways um let's get rid of those men lines because it looks ugly i don't know what men lines are i just made that up anyways they the first pressing of mexican troops into u.s territory is reported on uh, august 5th August 5th, 2027. Yes, it took two years for that war with Colombia. Anyways, uh, August 5th, 2027. Mexican troops are first reported crossing the U.S. border during a time of peace. The five years of peace couldn't even last. Now, this put... 
major cities like San Diego, which is gone already, uh, LA, this place, more, too much Californian cities in threat. Basically, all of those cities I dotted there are all under threat. The larger the dots, the more under threat they are of being destroyed. Anyways, uh, that's what it looks like. Anyways, not good. So, when US troops are reported shooting bombs, like, boom, 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 like that, all across the Mexican border, and all across the Rio Grande River, one time I said, talked about the Rio Grande River in class, and people thought I was talking about Ariana Grande. Seriously. I'm not kidding. Think a little. Did I say Ariana? No. I, did I, I said Rio Grande, not Ariana Grande. Think a little. Anyways. Why will you not work? Work. There. It works. Anyways, Mexico expand its navy so that it can get to Ho- No, not meant to happen. So that it can get easier access to Hawaii. And Hawaii equals big demoralization for USA. And a lot of it. Because Hawaii is very very important anyways mexico since when does it have a good navy i have no idea but they're buffed so remember so the mexican navy now we're focusing on their navy here they in the mexico gulf of mexico gone these american navies that troops that those american sailors they're gone those naval troops, they're gone. So what happens? The Mexicans can flank the Americans from the side. Now they're threatening, threatening Florida. A lot. They're they're threatening Florida a lot. So America has to send some troops. Some naval troops from here that were lined up like here basically these troops from there these troops these troops from there they go down to here so this is what's it look like no anyways um, but Mexico, uh, they are still defeated uh, in the Puerto Rico region. Now they're at under threat of losing uh, the his at losing the island of Hispaniola, which is this one here. Anyways, now let's focus on the navy in the Pacific. So, in the Pacific, Mexico is having a lot less fun attacking the USA. So, it looks a lot like this. These lands. Why does it not work? This one. There. Basically, these lands that Mexico controlled to become... Uh, to get Hawaii, are not very Mexican anymore. Not good. Um, anyways, some Mexican sailors, they move up. They move up and they threaten the coastal cities in California. And they enforce a naval blockade. That looks like that. Yeah. 
Yes, and if you wanted to go around that naval blockade, you have to go from like here, here, boom, 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 and then you can get there. Which is not good because most of USA stuff comes from Europe. But they can still get there though. Um, but sometimes Indian stuff and Chinese stuff they have to go like this, not like this, not too good. Also, Russia would also probably help the Mexicans with the naval blockade, being Russia and not liking the US a lot. Anyways, I hope no one confuses this with Alternate Future of the World series. Uh, because I almost just did. Anyways, this is the naval blockade. I have to color it like this. It looks ugly. But it's the naval blockade here. So, Mexico does not have lots of fun up here in this region because it's cold. Freezing cold. So, they're having much more success in the southern regions than in the northern regions. They also have to move a lot of their supplies to, to enforce this naval blockade and keep it like that. Uh, basically, pretty soon, the front looks like this. So now if USA wants to help their friends in the south, they have to go from like boom, boom, all the way around their blockade and then they can attack Mexico. Not good, but... Guess what? I found a weak point in the Mexican blockade. Specifically right here. Right here. And here. But this place is more uh, slightly more secure. So the US they can flank the Mexicans from out behind if they wanted to, which is what they do. And kill some of them. And by kill, oh sorry, I meant uh, blow them up. Yes, with guns on Mex on U.S. on American ships. Anyways, but Mexico still uh, find Mexico find these weak points and they reinforce them so that they don't lose this naval blockade. Anyways, Mexico actually actually somehow manages to do this yes so what can they do now they 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 take this island from Canada okay what else are they gonna do now I don't know not much there Mexicans aren't good in the cold ask the ones in the mountains they're freezing already Anyways, uh, so what happens next? They can push in more because they LA siege this city under siege, this city under siege, and then USA is basically screwed because it's busy dealing with Mexico's navy and all of that. But navy is a different thing from army. So also the USA has. Aerial support superiority though. Uh, but guess what? Mexico does a surprise attack on the USA. They originally make their attack look like they're trying to get to Florida, which is what they do to make it look like they get trying to get to Florida. USA Navy sees this. They send some of their troops from here to here so that they can fight against the Mexicans and not lose Florida, which is what they do. But because, hence, but because it was a surprise attack, the Mexicans actually are the ones who succeed because they can now encircle the Bahamas and the Bahamas is now gone actually 
I don't know how. They just suddenly just disappeared. I wonder why. Anyways, and soon they threatened Puerto Rico by cutting them off from the rest of USA's naval supply. The USA can still ship stuff from the air if they wanted to, but that would be costly, especially because Mexico stationed um, cannons, well, not exactly cannons, well, artillery guns across Hispani all over Hispaniola, and also they set up some ar aerial, uh, ar I said artillery guns, aerial artillery guns in Hispaniola and in some of their boats as well so Puerto Rico is under threat now very much now this is also a huge loss for American morale especially after losing the Bahamas and they're also threatening Florida even though the USA pushed them Oh, wait, never mind. They're not now. Now the USA is threatening Havana. Oh, I see how it's going to be. No, reverse card. Wow. Anyways, huge loss for the uh, military. On um, Huge moral, morale loss for the military. American military in, um, in this place. Okay, Albuquerque is, is that where Albuquerque is? No, I think it's like here. Anyways, uh, Albuquerque is under threat. It's gone. Bye. Now, uh, USA employs crazy Texans with crazy guns to fight the Mexicans. And being crazy Texans with crazy guns... They fight well. Yeah. Well, next thing you know, Mexico makes a naval landing across the Rio Grande River. Now threatens this Texan city for encirclement. Oh, it's gone. Another huge morale loss. The Texans are getting angrier. Now the Texans, they have to retreat. Now, there's not uh, so much Texans with guns, with crazy guns shooting at everyone everywhere, every time. Now, that, now they threaten Austin and Houston. I don't know. This might be Houston. That might be Austin. I don't know. I'm not good with Austin and Houston. I get them mixed up sometimes. Anyways, now that the Mexicans have control over the Rio Grande River, uh, the, the Mexicans can have naval superiority uh, in Texas now. This is good and not good. Good for Mexico, bad for Texas. Because they make a landing here, threatening Louisiana and all its French-speaking cities. We oui, we, oui. I don't know French. I actually don't know French. Anyways, um, another huge morale loss. The fronts look like this now. Now another bad thing is the Mexicans. They have luck in the sea. Wow, never heard of it. Maybe the Dutch would have some luck in the sea. I don't know how, but they have lots of luck in the sea, especially at destroying them. Kind of a, of a bit counterproductive, isn't it? Anyways, Mexico, huge naval resource cut off from the USA. And now Hawaii is under threats of capture. Now, the fronts look like this. And soon it becomes this. In time, everything collapses. And now Hawaii is at risk. 
why is the USA losing all the time? Uh, let me explain. So, oh, I thought the Mexicans weren't good at the cold. Apparently, these ones haven't trained for the winter. Where are these Mexicans from? Ah, the mountains. That makes sense. Okay, uh. Oh. Oh. Oh, there goes Seattle. Bye, Seattle. Imagine you live in Seattle and your house just blows up and then Mexicans rush in and shoot you. That is another no context. Anyways, LA is gone. This city is gone. This city is gone. As now San Francisco is at risk. Oh, no. They're, they're in circle San Francisco. Why is the USA, USA so bad at fighting Mexico? So, something happens that USA is very bad at fighting Mexico. But what is it? I wonder why. Maybe it's because they we dissolved all the alliances. Oh yeah. Also we buffed Mexico. Remember that? Anyways, let's have the USA make some gains to make it not look as rigged as it is. So they basically cut off Baja California. But Mexico is still winning though. Soon, pretty soon, let's fast forward, like, two years, now, let's fast forward two years now, mates, yes, let's, I just called you guys mates, alright, uh, fast forward two years, Okay, it's been five years. Now it's been five years. Okay. This is what the fronts look like so far. Background noise. Very sorry. This is what the fronts look like so far. Hawaii is still staying strong, but Puerto Rico is Mexican now. Now everyone can speak Spanish. Yay. Anyways, uh, Canada is basically the same. So is USA in the Washington area, but USA managed to do some counterattacks in Texas to push back the Mexicans trying to get Austin and Houston, but they also lose one more thing. Do you know what that is? I wonder what that one more thing could be. Ah, I seriously wonder what that thing could be. Ah, that makes sense. Naval blockade by the Mexicans again. Hmm, now they have to go around or get killed. Well, Mexico is doing some really bad things. What's the next thing Mexico does? I have no idea. Oh. No, 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 no. Don't you do what I think you're doing. No, no. He he's going to do what I'm thinking he's doing. Yeah. Adios, Hawaii. We'll miss you.
anyways, um, this thing of blockade isn't actually that big, but it's this big. Can I just bucket there? Well, it's actually this big. So if you wanted to go from France to USA, like this, bad for you, because you have to do it like this. Or else the Mexicans will shoot you. Because they will think you're American boats everywhere. Uh, I think, guys, let me show you a trade route of Ottoman vehicles that are made to go on water. Anyways, um, off topic, too much off topic. Anyways, um, what happens next? Ooh, another humongous morale loss for the USA. The USA just loses San Francisco. Uh, now, soon. Arizona is quick to fall, followed by New Mexico. Hmm. Soon these Mexicans connect up, and USA loses almost its entire Pacific coast because they still have Alaska, though. They still have Alaska. And so does Canada almost lose its entire Pacific coast because they still have this land, though. Oh. I think I spoke too soon. Ah. Uh, I have. They don't have this land. Well, another smart thing that these Mexicans do, they pollute the water source with mines. Not plastic, but mines. If these mines can also explode themselves and sneak their ways into your water filters and blow your water filters up a bit like a grenade with extra steps except it blows up twice anyways uh, but one of the good things that uh, the USA manages to do that they managed to limit how much resources Mexico can export to its naval blockade to keep its soldiers happy. Nice. Good for USA, bad for Mexico. But Mexico is winning anyways. Now, why won't Mexico negotiate peace? Let me tell you why. There is a little something called get as much land as you can and then may sue for peace. Yeah, that's an actual method. I think the British invented that. No. Maybe it was the French. Maybe. I don't, I'm not sure. Maybe it was the Americans themselves. Okay. Uh, they just lost this. Oh, wait, no. That looks like old Mexico now. Uh, oh, adios, Texas. They... they the most language spoken in Texas, te te I said Texas, te Texas is Spanish, fun fact. Hmm. Anyways, okay, soon the fronts look like this, soon then Mexico takes this, and then I told you, sue for peace. Now let's take a look at at this peace deal here. I need to take a screenshot of this now. I'm really angry. It takes a long time to draw peace treaties. Anyways, uh, I'll see you in a bit. For me, it's gonna take like 10 minutes to see you in a bit. 
Well, you just gonna take a one second. Anyway, see you in a bit. Okay, so here's the tree. And I was correct, it did take me 10 minutes. Wow. Okay, so Mexico wasn't obviously going to gain all this land, of course. Uh, so we did a compromise here. Some ugly borders, but some still interesting looking borders. So here, you can see Mexico gains all, well, they gain Texas, they gain half of Texas, half of Arizona, half of New Mexico. They also gain some of the coastal areas of California, and then they puppet the rest of California, and they make a state of British Columbia and Cascadia, which they both, again, puppet. So, USA is now crippled, Mexico is now the biggest, and now that will do it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. Can I please remind you guys to like and subscribe? It would help me out a lot. I'm trying to get to 50 subscribers, as I have said before. Thank you so much. I will see you all next time. Peace.